Hello and welcome to the Durban University of Technology. My name is Alan Khan and I am the Senior Director of Corporate Affairs at DUT. It's uh, my pleasure to be with you today. Sorry that it can't be in person, but uh, this pandemic has disrupted and changed so much uh, about our lives. Some of you have been with us for a few months, others literally a few weeks. And uh, well, wherever you are on that spectrum, uh, welcome to the DUT family. It's great to have you on board. The Division of Corporate Affairs uh, resides uh, within the Research, Innovation and Engagement cluster of the University. The Deputy Vice Chancellor, Research, Innovation and Engagement is Professor Sibusi Sumoyo. There are four departments within the Division of Corporate Affairs. Uh, the Communications Department uh, with Ms. Nathola Memela is the Communications Manager. Ms. Nolutandu Mkunu is the Acting Manager of the DUT Design Studio. Ms. Vasantha Govender is the Marketing, Public Relations and Events Manager and the Student Recruitment Department has Mr. Alex Mbletcher as the manager of the department. Just to take you through and you know, very quickly what uh, these department's key functions include, uh, the website, which is the official university website, dut.ac.za, uh, management of this resides in the communications department, together with our social media platforms, including Facebook, and we have a LinkedIn account, Instagram, uh, we have our DUT YouTube channel, so we are focusing a lot on social media. Obviously, you try and counterbalance some of the negative things and the misinformation that happens, whether it's on platforms like Twitter or on WhatsApp, but it's important for us to be in the social media space. Uh, we focus a lot of our attention on generating positive news stories for the university. Uh, these also uh, get shared on our own platforms and shared with the external media. So when we win awards, when our staff and students excel, uh, we urge departments and faculties and uh, divisions to share this with us so we can promote it. Uh, we also handle a lot of media queries, primarily around negative stories. The media uh, will be all over us when there's strikes, protests and violence. Uh, so, you know, we have to deal with this all hours of the day, uh, seven days a week. We are also responsible for some of the publications, the official publications the university uh, puts out on a, a regular basis. The DUT annual report, which has to be submitted to uh, the Department of Higher Education and Training and to Parliament. And then, of course, the official university statements, uh, which we are responsible for. So, for example, the weekly COVID-19 statement or when the Executive Management Committee and the Executive Committee of Senex meet and things need to be shared, we are drawn in then to share those official communiques with you. The DUT Design Studio, uh, which includes our graphic designers and specialist graphic designers, they will work on various projects for you, including business cards, DUT templates, email signatures, posters, banners, presentations, invitations, signage, vehicle branding, and anything that's linked to the DUT brand and our university logo, uh, the design studio will help you manage that. If you uh, want to have a, a better insight into the DUT brand, our brand guidelines are on our website. I'm not expecting you to remember that link. It's uh, way too long, but just go to the DUT website and you'll be able to search for the brand guide and find out uh, from the updated brand guide that you'll find on the website. Our marketing, public relations and events department handles just that, marketing and advertising on behalf of the university. We also deal with public relations matters. Uh, we handle events, guest public memorial and inaugural lectures for the university, the graduation ceremonies. Uh, last year and this year, due to the pandemic, we had to do virtual online graduation events. Some people were a bit disappointed, but we had to put health and safety first. Generally, though, the pomp and ceremony of an in-person uh, graduation event is just spectacular. And it's uh, certainly one of my personal highlights on the university calendar. Uh, in a normal year. And then, of course, we're involved with the protocol when we have uh, dignitaries coming through from uh, other universities. So we may have ambassadors, ministers, uh, or high ranking government officials from around the country or from other parts of the world visiting us. Our marketing, PR, and events department will also be responsible for the protocol. Our student recruitment department uh, engages with high school learners across KwaZulu Natal. We interact with uh, students in uh, the Eastern Cape. Uh, Free State, Mpumalanga, and we also travel to Lesotho and Swaziland. Uh, we're primarily involved, as I said, in school engagement. We work closely with the Central Applications Office. Uh, this team manages and produces the annual DUT Open Week, where we have about 15,000 high school learners from grade 10 to 12 throughout the province uh, come into the university and have an exhibition of every single department in our sports centre who engage face-to-face 
obviously this is uh, in a non-pandemic environment over the last two years this has had to be online event we're also involved with career days and exhibitions and we host the annual principals breakfast one in durban and one in peter marinsburg for principals and also uh, senior teachers uh, from high schools uh, in and around the cities of Durban and Peter Maritzburg. The university has evolved. Uh, you would know that uh, this was the first merged institution of higher education. Uh, the two former Technicons, Natal Technicon and Emma Sultan Technicon, merged to form the Durban Institute of Technology. That then evolved to the Durban University of Technology. And that logo is on the top left on the screen. The challenge with that logo is that most people called us DUT, and the logo doesn't say DUT, it says Durban University of Technology. So imagine if you had a motor vehicle logo like BMW, the world calls it BMW, but the logo says Bavarian Motor Works. It doesn't make sense. So we evolved that, but as opposed to going to these, uh, you know, massive international uh, design studios and marketing agencies, we went to the students that we train. Workspace was a incubator in the visual communication design department in the Faculty of Arts and Design. And the logo that you see in the middle of your screen was conceptualized and designed by our own students. The people we trained to go into the workplace designed this logo, immensely proud of it. And um, that evolved because where the logo was deficient is that it didn't take into account uh, Isizulu, which is the biggest language in the region where we are. We're a university that's embedded in its local context. So the logo had to evolve. And bottom right, you can see our logo now with uh, our name in English and in Isizulu. We also have our Envision 2030 logo, which is the strategy that we follow at the university together with our values and principles in the logo. So it's a decade of brand evolution. And with Envision 2030 and the decade ahead, uh, we are certainly striving uh, towards achieving and exceeding many of our goals and objectives at the university. If you need to contact anyone in the Division of Corporate Affairs, Ms. Bongirik Feliza is the executive assistant in the division, and you'll find extension numbers. Although a lot of my colleagues are working remotely, the best way is to contact us via email. And uh, if the screen is flashing too quickly for you, all you have to do is go to the DUT website, dut.ac.za, then look for the telephone icon on the top right of the screen. Click on that icon. That's the online directory. You can search by people for first name, by surname, or by department, and then their contact details will come up. So uh, the DT website is a great resource. That's it from me. Enjoy the rest of uh, the session. And once again, on behalf of uh, my team and I at the Division of Corporate Affairs, welcome to the Durban University of Technology. Uh, enjoy the ride with us. Uh, we're in for an excellent exciting and brilliant decade ahead at DUT.